Hey guys, welcome back. So today is a little bit of a different setup because what you see behind me and then what you don't see in front of me is a setup for some lip blush tattooing. So that is a service I will be offering in the near future. Today we're doing some photos and a little bit of video for promotion and for practice. And I can't wait. I've got about a half an hour before my girl comes. It's so exciting. I wish I could show you the process, but truly, it's too, there's too much happening to be able to film it. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna try. I may in the future as things progress and you know, clients are are coming and, and my set up and tear down and, and the process isn't, uh, or it becomes more of second nature, you know, like nails, uh, then I think I can probably manage to film more. But for now, I don't really just think that's something that I wanna get into, but I have her, Sheets all ready to sign. The cozy bed is all set up. The music was playing a second ago. I've got to turn that back on, but you know, copyrights. And I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Am I ready? Yeah, I am. Hey guys, welcome back. It's a couple of days later. As you may know, I'm, I've mentioned it a couple of times. I know I am on like a cosmetic tattoo paramedical tattoo journey and yesterday I was able to have my own done so this is fully day one like it hasn't been 24 hours yet the color will fade by about 50% so this color that you see will not be as bold when it's healed the swelling is gone um, any swelling I did have, I didn't have much. Hold on, I have to make my coffee. Okay, I'm back. So today, they will look like this. They will look like this for a couple of days and then they will seemingly start to fade. It will seem like all of the color is going away and then it will pop back because that is how the healing process works. They feel good today. This morning they felt a little like tingly and kind of odd. Of course they were dry from overnight. I've been just cleaning them, basically treating it how you would a regular tattoo if you have any of those. Let me also show you what I got. So I made an order through, where's the rest of it? I made an order through Create a Beauty because I had points with them and I just wanted to get them used up before they disappeared or I just wanted to get them used and I needed a couple things that didn't really necessarily need a whole order. It turned into a whole thing because they didn't have enough stock. I was just gonna order the whole thing in files and they only had one, 50 pack. So I got that. And then they had, I think this is a 25 pack of my Ugly Duckling files. So then I decided to try the Creative Beauty, their own brand of files. Oh yeah, that's junk. Sorry, it's junk. Can I say this? It's kind of like the eBay files that you buy. Like the eBay. They'll be fine for backups. I will tuck them away. I won't purposely use them. Um, unless it's on maybe like, I don't know, some short little project or something. Or I'll use them on like press-ons or uh, whatever kind of nail art I might be trying to do. Otherwise, no, I've actually garbaged files that I've bought over the years like that. I got a few of my Ugly Duckling mediums. Apparently I bought them out. So let's get those put away. I keep those really, really, really handy. Wow, they are not gonna open. Uh, I keep them right in the same drawer as my brush and my wipes. This really actually needs cleaned out because files are so dusty. So let's carry on to what else I got in no particular order. Well, let's do the nail stuff first. So in order to make the order free shipping and to be able to use my discount, which turned into being a whole, this is not right. <laughs> okay, we'll have a clear acrylic, which I greatly dislike. Um, I have a matte Ugly Duckling top coat, which I did mean to get and needed. I have four hemp's retail body lotion because that is not at all what i wanted but that's what i had to do to be able to make the why did i make the order i'm not sure uh so from otherwise because i had to go to town yesterday to get my lips done i did get one of the dr papa lip balms and the purpose of that was having a new for myself for this whole healing process as well as i have a um we have a local company here in new brunswick that makes this uh, body balm 
It's beeswax, olive oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E oil. Love it. So this one's kind of quite scented. Uh, so I tend to use that for like cuticles and things of the sort. But I will get another one today. There's an oatmeal honey one and it's scented also, of course, but it just feels a little better and it'll be better for the lips. What else did I get? I have, I have not bought one of these for ages. I have a, not Bath and Body Works, yeah, Bath and Body Works. Yep. Um, I'm going between Bath and Body Works and Bath and Beyond. Oh my God. Candle. Mm. And it is Marshmallow Fireside. So I have that. And I also got some coffee. So it's Pure Shrooms Mushroom Coffee Mix. Adaptogenic shrooms for mind and body. So it's just instant coffee, really. And I do like it, but it's not got a huge kick of caffeine in it, which is kind of what I was going for. So anyway, I got that. Is that it? I think that's it. I tattooed this weekend. That was kind of fun. I had the results on my Instagram and I'm gonna get set up for the day. It's currently 10 after seven. Yep, that's that. Okay, so check out this really strange thing that happened. <laughs> Look at this. I was over here just fiddling around with it and it was loose and I picked it up. Um, yeah. <laughs> I bet you guys can hear the clock ticking. Sorry about that. It even had babies. I was like bragging up the babies. They rotted off. Everything's rotten. Yeah, if I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. I just filmed that entire clip without hitting record. So if you don't have a nail art playlist, I highly recommend. Normally my nail art playlist is 90s country because that's who I am. But this time I made a playlist last night of Big Shiny Tunes too. So every time I holler at my unit that you speak to, when I'm in my little home gym, I've hollered at it a couple times and asked it to play Big shiny tunes too and it doesn't it's like it doesn't exist so last night we were talking about music like literally laying in bed like getting ready to go to bed talking about music and this band comes up and then this band comes up and before you know it we're like an hour into the rabbit hole on YouTube but in the meantime I'm on my phone and I look up I just google the playlist for big shiny tunes too and I made a playlist out of it, added a couple of artists, not very many. I added some extra Matchbox 20 and I added some Nirvana. And I think I might've added some extra Bush. But anyway, if you're of a certain age and you enjoyed Big Shiny Tunes too, I highly recommend you make yourself a playlist. I also recommend you get yourself a Halloween mug because this thing rocks. Uh, Marshalls? Marshalls. My Lovely mother-in-law gave me a gift certificate for Marshalls for my birthday. So when I was down getting my lips done the other day, I actually went and <laughs> this is one of the things that I bought was a new mug for here. Um, just because the mug I have was a Christmas gift from one of my clients from a couple of years ago. And I love it, but I kind of love mugs. So anyway, I'm doing a little bit of nail art. I have a half an hour left before my client gets here. Um, this was impromptu. This was not planned. I found that picture on... Is that on Pinterest? I keep going back to it. I should screenshot it so that I know I have it because you know what that's like. Also, apparently it was self-care week because I got my hair cut yesterday too. I have too much hairspray in it. I, I got her to do the bangs shorter just so that they were easier to like push over. I'm not sure yet if I'll keep them shorter. It's gonna need me to like wash and do myself before I decide what I wanna do with that. So. Anyway, the whole reason why I wanted to speak was, where the hell is it? So some people, I have had nail art people ask, 
why I prefer the Unbelievable Gels for things like this. So the Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gels um, from the Nail Throne. So the Nail Throne is located in Canada. She ships Canada and US, maybe some other countries you'd have to check. But anyhow, she has the Glitter Bells line. The reason why I love them for stuff like this, like doing out those eyes, I didn't have to hurry. I did not have to hurry. My room is a little bit warm and there was no hurry because they're not running. They're not going anywhere. They're not um, relaxing. Sometimes gel polishes will relax when you're trying to use them to like line or whatever. Uh, the only reason now why I don't go finger to finger when I'm doing actual nails with nail art is because I'm afraid of myself or the client's gonna hit them. But the, these don't move, they're not moving. So, amazing, totally amazing. And they flash cure really well, and they're um, tack-free, so I find they're really easy to layer. Like, previous to tack-free, previous to using these, I was using some that also lined really well. Like, there's plenty out there that line really well, but I found I was uh, not top-coating in between each layer because it needed it in order to build. I don't find that as much with these. Like I used my matte top coat over top of the base and then I put it back on the shelf and I probably won't use it again for a while, likely until after I'm done the face and maybe when I start the hair, we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to hop in and say that and give you an update on the lips. They didn't bruise at all. I kind of thought they, like I'm a bruiser, so I kind of thought they might, but not at all. This is also instant coffee. It's over there, so. Um, it's from, did I already go over this? I already went over this. Anyway, I'm drinking that coffee. It's my second one today, can you tell? See in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, it's the next morning, so it is Friday. It is 6.19, and I'm here. I'm ready to start the day. So, lip update today, they're peely. I'm um, not sure if I said this yesterday, but sorry, that's my kettle. Uh, they feel almost like they're windburned, which, you know, they don't feel terrible, but they do feel almost like they're windburned. for lunch like I wonder what everyone else is eating so I have a that's it bar I really like those they're quick and they're easy I take them hiking as well so they're like one apple and 12 strawberries little fruit bar I have two clementines I have a real food bar which is coconut in the dark promises to have dark chocolate in it haven't found any yet I have and mind you I bring some of this stuff for like the next day too like sometimes I just leave stuff here I have a protein shake I have the made good red velvet mini cookies caramel chocolate rice cakes a can of Tim Hortons chicken and rice soup highly recommend if you're a soup lover it's cheaper on Amazon than any results and I have a great big thing of trail mix just because I brought it for like to have here. So that's what I have for the day. I also have, of course, my coffee. I'm all out of creamer as of right now, but that's okay. I'm not gonna have time to drink any throughout the day today anyway. And I have tea here, just in case I do have time. I might make some tea. And I have my water. And then I have a backup water. And then I have a backup Alani New energy drink just in case I need it. And if I'm going to need it any day, today is probably the day. 
like I said, when I started this video, it was like 20 after six. So, and it's a full day. So, and it's pretty back to back. So I may end up <laughs> using that. Um, and that's it. I just wondered what you guys were bringing for food as well. Update on the plant, still dead. <laughs> Not gonna try to. My mom said to cut it off, cut it off at the rot and try to re-brew, I, anyway. If any of my clients come in today and need some aloe, there's still two or three very healthy pieces on it that they can take home with them. Otherwise, it'll probably go in the dumpster tonight. I hate to do that, but we're just gonna start fresh with something else. Maybe an ivy. I seem to have a thing for ivies, so, or spider plants. Anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee, I'm going to turn the lights down, get on my iPad, drink my coffee, enjoy it, and then let the day start. It's, it's future me here and I am editing the vlog and I thought I didn't put an outro in so I never said goodbye I never told you what was happening so it's day uh, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday of lips they are completely done peeling they peeled for one whole day and I feels like they're done now there might be a little bit of roughness along the top lip maybe but that would be it so uh, super happy about that and editing the vlog I've just gone for my hike I go every single weekend sometimes two or three times to some certain local trails and that's where I was today I got a lot of footage today so I'm enclosing that if you don't live in an area where you have great green outdoor spaces I do so <laughs> I will get lots of footage for you nearly always and I'll make sure that I share that I have a special someone that's <laughs> being difficult say hello out to the outside oh my goodness Molly <laughs> she generally does not like the camera but I don't think she even realizes it's there Ugh, you're so heavy. Hoo -ah. uh, gosh, she's only 40 pounds. But she's a heavy 40 pounds when she doesn't want to be picked up. Anyway, so closing the vlog here. I will see you guys next week. And I hope you have a great week. Something years ago, those cold nights in December, and the sound of the falling snow, the fireplace warming us, the VHS movie box, your old broke down touring bus, and not a single cloud in the sky. If I could go back in time. I'd pack my bags right now If I could play back rewind I wouldn't think twice A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt We didn't have a dime No, you and me were poor as fuck All we had was time Just a dream guiding us, and not a single
Time.